I will kill her children with pestilence. And all the churches will know that I am he who searches the minds and hearts, and I will give to each one of you according to your deeds. I will kill her children with pestilence. Whoa. Now, there's a ton of teaching in the church today concerning generational curses, but it undoubtedly misses the mark. Mm. The truth is there are generational curses. The Word of God says so, yes. and the Word of God is true. Yes. God's holy word declares it so. The first place that that's mentioned, among others, by the way, is in Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. You shall not worship them, talking about idols, or serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children, on the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. The sins of the father and the consequences of the sins of the father are passed on to the children. Generation after generation after generation. To if you follow that to its logical conclusion, you know, I see people talking about their genealogy. Oh, I was, I was born from this family. You want to know something? I can trace my genealogy all the way back. I mean, from year after year, century after century, millennium after millennium, I can trace my, my genealogy all the way back to Adam. To Adam <laughs> that dirty rat. <laughs> okay. And his sin was passed on yes. to the next generation, and to the next generation, and to the next generation, to the next generation, to the next generation. Okay. In, in that verse, though, in, in Exodus, it's to those who hate me. Oh, yes, it does say that. Visiting the iniquity of the father, on the Father's children, to turn for of those who hate me. Well, what happens when you don't hate the Lord? When you don't hate the Lord, you fulfill the command of Jesus Christ. Then he said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. And when you are born again, hallelujah, you get a new father. father. Yes. He is spirit. You are spirit. You are born of your father who is in heaven. And guess what? He has no sin to pass on to you. He only has righteousness to pass on to you. He only has his grace that he passes yes. on to you. No he curses. only has his mercy that he can pass on to you. He only has that compassion. He only has that love. These are the things that our Father in heaven passes on to us. The hallelujah. curse is broken. Hallelujah. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord If you God. feel like you're under generational curses, change fathers. Amen. That's it. It's very simple. Hey! Simple answer. This is serious stuff because God spoke this stuff about generational curses to more than one. Mm -hmm. in, in Jeremiah it says, Here's how it's in those days, listen to this now, mm -hmm. they will not say again, the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge, but everyone will die for his own iniquity. Each man who eats the sour grapes, his teeth will be set on edge. Jeremiah 31, 29 and 30. Listen to this, because I want you to understand this. What he is saying, I don't want to hear this. This is God saying, I don't want to hear this no, anymore. No. I don't want to hear from my people about generational curses. In that day, what day? On the day that Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. Because from that point on, you knew how to break the generational curses. Amen. You knew that you were not subject to the generational curses. Right. You knew that those curses, the sins of your father, have no power over you. The father eats sour grapes, but the children's teeth are set up. I don't want to hear that, God says. They have no power over you. Yeah. Only the word of God has power over your life. Oh, Only yes. the love of God has power over your life. Only the spirit of God has power, power over your life if you are indeed Amen. a child Amen. of the living God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. These are those days. Mm. The Lord, at great cost, by the way, mm. the cost of His Son upon that cross, has made a simple way to break the chain of curses passed from your Father. Change fathers. I'm going to end on this. So Jesus said, Do not be amazed that I said to you, <laughs> you must be born again. Okay. Yeah. Then the only thing you're going to get is righteousness and holiness. And Father, we just thank you, Lord God. We thank you. Mm. that you have given us a, a way of escape yes, from the sins of Adam, Lord God, with a second Adam who came in obedience and humility, obedience to death, to the point of death, even death on a cross. We thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who did for us what we could never do for ourselves,
to break the chain of that curse of sin in our lives, Lord God, to set us free from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. We thank you for that, thank Father, you, in the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Ooh. When peace like a river attendeth my way When sorrows like sea billows roll Whatever my lot Thou hast taught me to say